I'm Dr. Will Holdsworth, your local San Jose chiropractor from Pain Relief Chiropractic. I'm about to show you a technique for mousing. Uh, basically only really useful for when you use a mouse. I know a lot of people are working on just laptops these days, so if you don't use a mouse, uh, you don't necessarily need to watch this, but maybe you're interested anyway, so keep watching. Uh, what I'm going to basically show you is a way to use your mouse to avoid the compression that usually occurs when people use their mouse in this area. Uh, the compression in this area is important to uh, take into consideration because in this area is where the carpal tunnel is. And I'm sure you may have heard of carpal tunnel syndrome before. Uh, basically what that is is compression of the carpal tunnel, which the carpal tunnel is just a sheath of tissue that protects three important nerves that control your hand. When you compress the carpal tunnel, you can compress those nerves and that's where the irritation comes in. So just changing the way that you use your mouse can help alleviate carpal tunnel completely. Uh, so just make sure to pay close attention as how uh, I'm going to show you to use your mouse properly. Um, most times when people grab their mouse, they go ahead and they grab it this way, where their hand is resting on the desk, um, their wrist especially is resting. They're uh, squeezing the mouse considerably. Uh, their wrist is usually uh, in, in a little bit of extension or flexion if the desk is really high and the chair is really low. Um, we want to make sure that our elbow is basically in line with our mouse or our keyboard. That way we can get our elbow to the recommended 90 degrees. Uh, if it's not, then you need to adjust your chair, you need to adjust your desk, if you can adjust your desk or adjust your keyboard tray. So get that in line, elbow and mouse in line. That's gonna get your 90 degree angle. Then we're gonna change our grip, okay? And by grip, I mean lack of grip. So we're gonna rest our wrist here, usually, right? We're squeezing the mouse, we're pivoting back and forth. Our wrist is out of a neutral position. Um, it's never really straight when we're using this technique. Um, the, all we have to do to change all those things that we want to avoid, the gripping, the uh, in, out of a neutral position of the wrist, the resting of the wrist, and the pivoting of the wrist, all you have to do is just take your hand and you slowly slide it forward. Rather than positioning your hand behind the mouse, we position our hand on the mouse, like this. When I do this, the dimensions of the mouse will now support my wrist. The other thing that happens is, I can just relax my palm on the mouse. I don't need to grip it at all. I can just relax my palm completely. The weight of my arm and the shape of my palm grips the mouse for me. So all my fingers are completely just dead weight right now. Sometimes when I show people this, they go like this. They start to contract. They think they need to hold their fingers up. Don't do that. Just relax your hand in place. When we do this, our wrist is now elevated off the desk. When I move around, I'm moving with my shoulder and elbow more than just my wrist. When we do this, we're alleviating a lot of the pressure that goes into the carpal tunnel. When we click, we click more like this, moving more from this point of our finger, this joint, uh, instead of curling the finger, that's unnecessary, and we're just going to move around like that. Uh, you can do it with the left hand too, it's basically the same thing, I'm just going to go like this and move around this way. Uh, a lot of people who get carpal tunnel-like symptoms when they're mousing, they just say, you know what, I'm just going to stop mousing with my right hand, I'm just going to use my left hand from now on. Um, don't use your left hand the way you were using your right hand, now you're going to screw up your left side. So just make sure to, to, to keep that in mind that you, you can use this palming technique and it will really help. Uh, if you are one of those people who did switch to the left side, that's okay. But what I'm going to give you is a little bit of an extra tip. A lot of times people who switch to the left, they don't switch the buttons on the, the mouse. Uh, if you are switching over, a lot of times what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. The click for the primary click and then the secondary click is over here. Switch the buttons. Go into your control panel if you're on Windows and just quick switch uh, primary and secondary clicks. You can go into uh, on Apple, it's just under system preferences under the mouse and just switch them. Uh, when you do that, the brain associates the, the, the primary click with your pointer finger. So you just use the pointer finger now instead. That's all you need to do. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, if you like this, go ahead and like it. If you want to share it with anybody that you know, especially people who work at their desk, go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helps. And uh, if you're not using a mouse, then don't really worry about it. But if you ever do use a mouse, try using this technique. Uh, one thing I do want to bring up, I guess I uh, forgot to mention, is uh, when you move around like this, more from the arm rather than just your wrist, uh, you get sort of like a lack of precision, a lot of people will say, or they say, this just feels weird, like, I mean, it's working, but it just feels like kind of strange. Of course it's going to feel strange, you're not used to doing it, but it took me about a week or two to get used to it, and I always grab a mouse like this from now on, I never grab it like this anymore, 
Um, to me, this is like nails on a chalkboard in a sense. Um, I don't like doing it. I just get like this weird like effect of like placebo almost in my mind, like I'm just doing something wrong for that area, and so I just palm it. So again, if you like that, go ahead and like it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a question. Thank you.